Now to the nation's capital where the Supreme Court is set to open another historic term this morning. This will be the first time the justices return to the bench after that landmark term where they voted to overturn Roe v. Wade. This term's docket set to include a number of major cases on issues including affirmative action, voting rights, and gay rights. Tom Dempsey is in Washington with the very latest on what the court will hear during this term. Good morning, Tom. Hey, good morning, Marty. Yeah, the new term is officially underway with the justices already agreeing this morning to hear a case dealing with whether or not big tech companies should be shielded in cases dealing with problematic content posted to their websites. This new term also marks the first for Justice Katanji Brown Jackson as the first black woman ever on the bench. But Marty, you said it. This comes after a very controversial term for the Supreme Court after they overturned Roe versus Wade. Conservative justices still outnumber liberal ones six to three, and we could see even more of a right turn this upcoming uh, term for the Supreme Court. But some of the more notable cases deal with some key issues, uh, issues like religious rights we're talking about, and whether a web designer in Colorado can deny services to a same-sex couple. Elections will also be a focus, with justices deciding whether or not to give more power to state legislatures when setting rules for federal elections. Later this month, two cases will deal with admissions at Harvard and the University of North Carolina and a decision against the schools could actually eliminate affirmative action and this morning justices are also hearing a case that could limit the power of the Clean Water Act something interesting to note too as well Marty with this new term that this marks the first since March of 2020 when the public can actually go inside the building here in DC and here are some of the cases in person Marnie? Wow, a lot to talk about. All right, Tom Dempsey, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.